What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here, back with another episode. And man, recruiting across the FCS and especially in the SWAC has been just insane these past few weeks. And Grambling lands another big wide receiver to add to the already loaded wide receiving core that Hugh Jackson has built down there at Grambling as they get former Utah wide receiver Ryan Peppins out of Alabaster, Alabama. He played for Thompson High School, one of the top programs in the state of Alabama, arguably right next to Hoover is one of the more storied dynasties in terms of 7A high school football in Alabama. I've got to see this team win multiple state titles in just the past few seasons. They have dominated, and Ryan Peppins was one of the standout players on those Thompson teams. He was a three-star prospect off of three straight state titles at Thompson High School, committed to Utah, and this, this addition to Grambling – is so important. They've gotten a lot of tall, you know, big body wide receivers to put on the outside and you know, a Tyson Boudreaux with some guys like that. But on the other hand, Ryan Peppins is out of a completely different mold, man. Only about five, nine, you know, 160, 160 pounds or so still has all his eligibility left. Um, came right out of high school, was an early enrollee for Utah this past year, and announced his transfer just a few short months later. But like I mentioned, a three-time Alabama 7A state champion and was also a state runner-up in his fourth season as a freshman. So he almost had four straight uh, state titles. He was named the MVP of the state championship in 2021 in that game, he had he had over 200 yards receiving and, and two touchdowns in the state title game and was also named the 7A Mr. Alabama Player of the Year his senior year. And man, this guy had everything going his senior year. Listen, I mean, when you look at his stats, 80 catches, 1,300 yards receiving and 23 touchdowns as a senior. His his junior year, over 1,100 yards receiving and 18 receiving touchdowns. He was a, a Max Preps 2020 Junior All American first team selection. was was on the super was on the super All American list in the state of Alabama his senior year, along with being Mister Football for the state of Alabama, like I just mentioned. He was a three-star prospect in his class, a top 20 player in the state of Alabama, a top 75 wide receiver, according to 247 Sports. Held offers from Maryland and Utah, two of his biggest teams, Western Kentucky, Austin P. Eastern Kentucky, had a bunch of offers coming out of high school. And the biggest thing is the speed that he's going to bring. He was he went to the Class 7A Indoor State Championship in track, ran a 7-12, 60-meter dash, also had an 11.2 in the 100-meter dash as well. And I think he is going to be one of the top slot wide receivers in the swag in the next coming years. Man, you're looking at his highlights, and he can, he can do so many things in the open field. All you have to do is get him the ball. He's an excellent route runner, very fluid with his movements. And when he gets into the open field, you better be ready to run because he is one of the more elusive and fast guys at that slot position. When um, in an interview, his coach, his high school coach, Mark Freeman, Thompson's head coach, called him invaluable as a player he can use in a variety of ways to generate offense. He said, quote, he does not shy away from pressure. Ryan wanted to be the guy who was counted on, and he was always willing to earn that. He never walked into our building with the attitude of, hey, they need to get me the ball. He worked to get that distinction. He has those intangibles of quickness, speed, knowledge, and determination. It's hard to find guys with all those qualities. He had them all, and it made it, and he made them successful. When you look at his entire prep career, had almost 3,000 yards receiving and 43 receiving touchdowns. And when you're looking at the highlights, his play style, I'm not saying he, you know, he projects as a as at this as this player, his play style reminds me of very much how Jalen Waddle was used at Alabama. And 
just how they can get it to him on the jet sweep. They can get it to him in the slot. He can play outside if needed. He's a very fluid and smooth route runner. He's a big play threat from the slot, and he just has the speed to be a difference maker, and that is what Jalen Waddle was bringing to Alabama and now is bringing to the Miami Dolphins. He has so much potential in it. For Grambling, as long as you have a quarterback that can get some of these playmakers the ball in open space, Grambling's offense is going to be a problem under Hugh Jackson. I'm very excited to see how they decide to use Peppins, but this is going to be one of the one of the guys in the swack, I think, that can be an absolute big play threat every single time he touches the ball. If you take a bad angle, he's going to outrun you. If you think, if you think you if you don't break down when you're face to face with him, he's going to he's going to take the ankles. He he has so much versatility in how he can be used in an offense. And I think Having having a piece like that in an offense with the offensive mind like Hugh Jackson is going to be extremely fun to watch. And I think him, Kevin Coleman, and some other guys are going to be some some of the names that you're going to look at that slot position as some of the best possibly even in the FCS. I really like Ryan Peppins. I got to see him play in person at two of the 7A state championships that he played in and Thompson ended up winning. And I'm extremely excited to see what he brings to Grambling's offense. But man, like the video, hit that subscribe button, comment below on what you think of Ryan Peppins announcing his transfer to Grambling. And also, what do you think about this offense? And what do you think Grambling's ceiling is now that they've added all these pieces in the offseason? What do you think year one of a few Jackson is going to bring for Grambling? Uh, comment all that below, hit the like button, share the video, and stay tuned for more content right here from the Blue Bloods. But until next time, guys, the Blue Bloods are out.